All right, today on MTG Unpacked, we will be cracking some packs of Strixhaven. So I've got a 154 here. Um, I believe there's a code. I think it's play Strixhaven. Let's give that a try. Yeah. Okay, so we've got three more packs. So we're at 157. I see we've got a couple of people in the chat already. So we've got Brandon McLeod. Welcome. Yes, you are actually first. Okay, so let's get to cracking. I'm going to start off slowly. <coughs> Excuse me, slowly here. We'll be uh, soaking everything up. Brand new set. And as we pull cards that we've seen before we'll uh, go skipping over things okay so we've got reduced to memory okay unwilling ingredient that's fun got a frog there or toad serpentine curve fractal creatures interesting leech fanatic fractal summoning okay master symmetrist and here is the Mystical Archive card, so you get one of these in each pack. Really like what they did with the artwork here. Um, there's one or two exceptions, but on the whole, I think they're fantastic. So we've got Agonizing Remorse and Semester's End. So what does this do? Exile any number of target creatures and or planeswalkers you control. Beginning of the next end step, return each of them to the battlefield under its owner's control. Each enters the battlefield with an additional plus one, plus one can on it. If it's a creature, additional loyalty if it's planeswalker. Okay, so you're essentially blinking things um, back onto the battlefield. You could probably take advantage of some ETB effects there. Okay. Got a few more people here. Nova Creator, welcome. Jack Freger, Armored Titan, and somebody got a Mana Tithe, one of their packs, Nova Creator, very cool. And somebody said dragons, yes, uh, aren't they uh, like the deans of the schools or something? We'll see what that's about. Maelstrom Muse, Environmental Sciences, Campus Guide, Pillar Drop Warden, Combat Professor, Demogoth Woe Eater. Okay, we've got a demon there. Juress. Interesting artwork. And a Mythic Wild card. Always in need of more of those. Welcome, Ray Malkavian. Okay, we've got Dina Soul Steeper. Biomathematician. Blood Age General. Mage Jewel. Campus Guide. Honor Troll. Yes, we've been trolled. And Agonizing Remorse again. Oh yes, a mythic. So we've got Galazeth, Prismari, Legendary Creature, Elder Dragon, 3-4 four, for 4 with flying. When it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Artifacts you control have tap, add one mana of any color, spend it only to cast sense and all sorcery spell. Okay, so there's our treasure. And we have pulled the first of the Elder Dragons. I'm assuming there's one of each. Grinning Ignis, Field Trip, Reject. Novice Dissector, we've got a uh, wild card there. Elite Spellbinder, Shadewing Laureate. And Crosan Grip, nice. Instant for three, split second, destroy target, artifact, or enchantment. So these, I'm assuming, they're not legal in standard, but they are legal if you are playing limited format. So that could be interesting. Okay, another wild card. Rise of Exodus. Mouldering Karok, a zombie croc. Fantastic, love it. Resculpt. Thrilling Discovery. Silver Quill Apprentice Village Rites. And Archmage Emeritus 2 2 for 4 creature human wizard magecraft. One of you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, draw a card. Okay, so that's uh, one of the new mechanics in this set. The other one, I believe, is Learn. So I don't know if we pulled any Learn cards yet. 
Welcome P the player. Prismari Apprentice Letter of Acceptance. Beaming Defiance Spectre of the Fens. Lich Fanatic again. Reflective Golem and Shock. Nice. Okay. And Venerable War Singer. 3-3 three, three for 3 Creature Spirit. Cleric Vigilance Trample. Whenever it does combat damage to a player, you may return target creature card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield, where X is the amount of damage Venerable War Singer dealt to that player. Okay. Welcome Fleet 7 and Uli Boy. We've got Rip Apart, Pigment Storm, Lich Fanatic, Prismari Campus, saw that one, Augmenter, Pugilist, and Echoing Equation, and another Mythic, Blue Suns, Zenith Instant for X, and two blue target player draws X card, shuffle Blue Suns, Zenith into its owner's library. What are the pulls that people are looking for out of Strixhaven? So, do you have your eyes on the Mystical Archive, or are there particular cards in Standard you're planning to brew around? Let me know in the chat or comments. We've got Ruther, Mercurial Artist, Field Trip, Guiding Voice, Exhilarating Elocution, Lash of Malice, Humiliate, Snakeskin Veil, and a wild card. Like I said, always in need of more wild cards to build my decks. We've got the campus guide, teach by example, stone rise spirit, tend the pests. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do something with this. These guys are just uh, too cool looking. Urza's rage and another mythic mascot exhibition. Sorcery lesson. Here we go for seven. Create a 2 on white and black inkling creature token with flying, a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token, and a 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental creature token. What? You get all of that? Holy moly. For 7 though, I guess it is pretty steep. So Nova Creator says I just want to crack packs. Jack Frager, I've got my eyes on the Japanese alternate arts, especially the Tainted Pack. Anyone know if you can get those in MTG Arena? I'm not sure. I haven't heard anything about that. Dueling Coach. Bayou Groff. Plant Dog. What? That's a stretch. Stonebound Mentor. Star Pupil. Professor of Symbology. And... <laughs> I like the uh, little speech there. Mavinda, Students Advocate, 233 Legendary Creature, Bird Advisor with Flying. So for zero, you may cast Target Instant or Sorcery card from your graveyard this turn. If that spell doesn't target a creature you control, it costs, what is that, eight more to cast this way. If that spell will be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. Activate only once each turn. Okay, so you can uh, bring back. Instant or sorceries from the graveyard and targeting your own creatures. Okay. That'd be nice with some combat tricks. And Yuli Boy, I want to pull that weird uh, Faithless looting from my first pack when I get around to buying some. Yeah. That's a bit of a meme card at this point. Zephyr Boots. Dragon's Approach. What is this? Oh, this is the one any number of cards named Dragon's Approach. Okay. Lich Fanatic, Spirit Summoning, Fuming Effigy, Thunderous Orator, Cultivate, nice. And Culling Ritual, Sorcery for four, destroy each non-land permanent with mana value, two or less add, black or green, for each permanent destroyed this way. One thing I'm finding a little annoying, I thought they used to highlight which cards were new that you hadn't pulled yet, but it doesn't seem to be doing that. We've got a Maelstrom Muse, Introduction of Prophecy, okay, another Sorcery Lesson, Study Break, Pilgrim of the Ages, Academic Dispute, Opt, of course. And Tanazir Quandrix Mythic. So this one we have not pulled yet. Legendary Creature Elder Dragon 4-4 for 5 Flying and Trample when it enters the battlefield. Double 
the number of plus one plus one counters on target creature you control. Nice. And whenever it attacks, you may have the base power and toughness of other creatures you control become equal to Tanazir Quadrich's power and toughness until end of turn. That is pretty insane. So if you have a bunch of creatures attacking, essentially getting four fours. Nice. Welcome, meme regards. It is actually evening here. We've got Clever, Luminancer, Arcane, Subtraction, Campus Guide, Twin Scroll, Shaman, Illustrious Historian, Team Pennant, and Shock. And a Radiant Scroll Wielder. 2 4 for 4 instance. What's he supposed you control of Lifelink? Ooh. Interesting. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile an instant sorcery card at random from your graveyard. You may cast it this turn. If the spell cast this way, be put into your graveyard, exile it instead. That sounds like an opportunity for shenanigans. Okay, so Vortex Runner, Silver Quilt, Pledge Mage, Beaming Defiance, First Day of Class, Lawhold Apprentice. And another mythic. Harness infinity for a buttload of mana. Instant exchange your hand and graveyard. What? Exile harness infinity. That is like screaming out for a uh, crazy brew. Okay, what do we got new here? Archway Commons. Pilgrim of the Ages. Closing statement. Nice artwork. And Baleful Mastery Instant for four. You may pay one and black rather than pay the spell's mana cost. If the one and black cost was paid, an opponent draws a card. Exile, target creature, or planeswalker. Okay, so you can get it for cheaper, but give your opponent a card. Okay. Go blank. Study break. Reckless Amplomancer. Pillar Drop, Rescuer, Mage Hunter, Creature Horror, nice. Divine Gambit, that's some fun artwork. And Fury Calm Snarl, okay, so they have dual lands here. As it enters battlefield, you may reveal a mountain or plains card from your hand. If you don't, enters tapped. You can tap it for red or white. Okay, so that's the downside with those. Necrotic Fumes. Introduction to Annihilation. Exile target non-land permanence. Controller draws a card. Okay. Combat Professor. Cram Session. Flunk. The Biblioplex. And Growth Spiral. Instant for two. Draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Yes, that's what I say. A literal god asks, where are the goblins? So we have a pigment storm, enthusiastic study, tome shredder, dueling coach, semester's end, and grape shot, sorcery for two, deals one damage to any target, has storm. Are there goblins in this set? I mean, this guy looks a bit like a goblin. Tenured Ink Caster, Eager First Year, Lawhold Pledge Mage, Test of Talent, Strategic Planning, and Ingenious Mastery, Sorcery for 200 blue, you may pay 200 blue rather than pay this spell's mana cost. If that was paid, you draw three cards, then an opponent creates two treasure tokens, and they scry two. If that cost wasn't paid, you draw X cards. Okay. Don't forget the rats, says you mad bra 99 indeed. Rats and goblins. Access tunnel, cogwork, archivist, rise of Exodus. Devouring tendrils, snakeskin, veil. Tempted by the auric. Sorcery for four. For each opponent, gain control up one. Target creature or planeswalker that player controls with mana value three or less. Okay, that's fun. We haven't been trolled yet. Wheezing, you missed the troll earlier. We have been trolled once. Bra Moment Arena does not yet have modern. They have a thing called Historic. They're gradually adding cards to it. It's actually pretty fun. 
Uh, has anyone played Historic? We've done a couple of deck techs on the channel. My favorite so far would have to be the one with the rats. What do we have here? Illustrious Historian. Aegis Guardian. Needle Thorn Drake. Campus Containment Breach with the weird pests there. Defiant Strike. Dragon's Guard Elite, Creature Human Druid 2 2 for 2, Magecraft, whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Dragon's Guard Elite for 4 and 2 green. Double the number of plus 1 plus 1 counters on it, so it's one of those really uh, increasing the size of the creature. Welcome to MTG Addiction Toby Loft. It is about quarter past 7, so we're on US Central Time here. Plum the Forbidden, Fismari Pledge Mage, Expanded Anatomy, Fracture, Adventurous Impulse, and a Mythic, Body of Research for 6, Sorcery, Create a 0, 0, Green and Blue, Fractal Creature Token, put X, plus 1, plus 1, counters on it, where X is the number of cards in your library, what? That is insanity okay i'll have to do something with that one so we've got the tendrils swing discovery pest summoning this thing again like the artwork on that mortality spear village rights leonin light scribe so at least i've got cats creature cat cleric two two of two mage craft whenever you cast a copy and instant sorcery spell which you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. Can I have a shout out? I'm giving shout outs to everybody. Nolan Schwemlin. You have been shouted out. Congratulations. We've got an eye twitch, yeah. I've got a bit of an eye twitch right now. Study break. Carrick Wrangler. That's an interesting one. Negate. And multiple choice. Sorcery for, f what is this, X and a blue. If X is one, scry one and draw a card. If X is two, you may choose a player. They return a creature they control to its owner's hand. If X is three, create a 4-4 four, four blue and red elemental creature token. If X is four or more, do all of the above. I would like all of the above, thanks. Okay, what do we got next? Master Symmetrist, Owlin Shield Mage, Bird Warlock. Pigment Storm. We're still getting a fair bit of variety. Dream Strix. And a Grape Shot. Welcome, Rikimaru Ricky. Mage Hunter's Onslaught. Witherbloom Campus. Lawhold Campus. Oh, these are just entering tapped. Okay, with Scry. Returned Past Cooler. Infuriate! And exponential growth for two, lots of X and two green and two end of turn. Double target creatures, power X times. You know that one's going to get a workout. Okay. How much is each pack? They obscure it from you. So, uh, what was that? 18,000 gems for... I forget. Um, let's see here. So if we go to the packs, you get 90 packs for that. And this is about, this is probably a bit under 100 bucks. But of course, there's nothing uh, very straightforward. Okay, next up, Serpentine Curve, Cram Session, Expel, Thrilling Discovery, Honor Troll. I think we tr were trolled by that one before. Venerable Warsinger. And Harmonize. Okay, so... This is one of the two more interesting artworks. I actually think that one's pretty good. Welcome, Mr. Willow, 1979, Biohazard Beam. From Clarksville, Tennessee. Welcome. Professor's Warning, there's Liliana, or, sorry, Professor Onyx. Spoilers if you haven't heard about that. Which, we need to pull some Planeswalkers here, people. Law hold command instant for five. Choose two. Create a three two red and white spirit creature token. Creature control get plus one plus three and gain indestructible and haste until end of turn. 
Deals three damage to any target. Target playing gains three life. Sack a permanent, then draw two cards. Okay, nice menu of options there. Your accent is definitely not US. What do you mean, Toby? This is a, a definitely a Chicago accent here. Or do I have to say I have to say Chicago? Ugh, don't ask me to repeat that. It's terrible. Berry in books. Frost Trickster, Bird Wizard, Golden Ratio, Revitalize, and Illuminate History. Sorcery Lesson for four. It's got any number of cards and draw that many cards. And if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, create a 3 2 red and white spirit creature token. Fair enough. Welcome to Gabriel MBL Dead Tree Videos. All right, tons of people in the chat here. Let's give it a few more thumbs up if you're liking what you're seeing so far. And if not, press the thumbs up twice. Tangle Trap. Professor of Zoomancy, Bear Druid. Okay, Arrogant Poet. Eye Twitch. I've got an Eye Twitch. Radiant Scroll Wielder. 2 4 for 4. Have we seen this before? Yes, I think we have. Okay. Moving on. Kelpie Guide. Square Up. Blood Age General. Ogya Battle Seer, Ogre Shaman, but where are the goblins? Igneous Inspiration, Thriller Possibility, and another wild card. Good to see them always. Welcome, Metal Manic Jammo. Let's see, Stone Rise Spirit, Biomathematician, Bookworm, Dramatic Finale. Inquisition of Kozalek. Nice. Sorcery for a single black target player. Reveals a hand. You choose an online card from it with mana value. Three or less. That player discards that card. And that reminds me, in addition to limited, I think you can use these in historic. So that is going to do fun things for the historic format. So emergent sequence. Curate. Quandrix Pledge Mage. Tangle Trap. Teach by example. Start from scratch. Frostboil Snarl and Crusan Grip. So, what do people think the chances are we pull a Planeswalker in the next couple of packs? Let me know what you think. Storm Kiln Artist. Okay, so Dwarf Tribal's a thing. We've got another Croc. Crocodile Tribal. Spined Karok. Charge Through. Quadrix Campus. Humiliate. Poet's Quill and Tezzeret's Gambit. Sorcery for four, draw two cards and proliferate. Alright, Containment Breach, Spirit Summoning, Novice Dissector, Plague Dean of Chaos, Orc Shaman, and Tainted Pact, another mythic instant for two XO top card of your library. You can put that card into your hand. This has the same name as another card. So this way, repeat this process until you put a card into your hand or you sold two cards with the same name. Whichever comes first. We've got one prediction of 30%. I think that's a bit optimistic, actually. Heated debate. Hunt for specimens. These little pests again. Pop quiz. Fun artwork. Confront the past. And Grape Shot again. Yeah, really liking the old art in this set. Adventurous Impulse. I think we've seen everything else. Okay, so we're going to start zipping through a bit quicker now. If there's things we've seen before. Worm, Howl, Serpent. I don't think we've seen. Pestilent Cauldron. Restorative Burst. And harmonize. Okay. What else? Lightning helix. I think that's new. Axis tunnel. Oh, it's Professor Onyx. Wink, wink. Five loyalty for six. Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Plus one, you lose one life. Look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand, the rest into your graveyard. Minus three. Each opponent sacrifices a creature with the greatest power among creatures that player controls. Minus eight. Each opponent may discard a card. If they don't, they I like this. They lose three life. 
Repeat this process six more times. That is insane. I think that's going to be a popular one. We've got the unwilling ingredient again. Mentor's guidance. Holy cow, Belladros Witherbloom. Welcome, sir. It's a mythic legendary creature, Elder Dragon 4447. Flying at the beginning of each upkeep, created 1 1 black and green pest creature token. With when this creature dies, you gain more life. Pay 10 life, untap all lands you control. What? Activate only once each turn. You probably want to be doing a life gain deck with that one. All right, rip apart. Waterfall aerialist, blood researcher, and brackish trudge, fungus beast. Okay then. And another mythic, increasing vengeance, instant for two, copy target, instant also see spell, you control if the spell is cast from graveyard, copy that spell twice, instead you may choose new targets for the copies. Flashback for three, and two red, you just know this is something that would uh, go in the goblin deck or some burn deck. Alright, what else? Deadly Brew. Culling Ritual. I think we might have seen that one before too. Okay, Village Rights. Again! Halfway to a uh, playset or maybe a little further along. Spring main servant elk. And you need to pair that with Oko, don't you? Uh, we got the croc. Uh, confront the past. Uh, interesting bit of lore here. Is that Gideon I see? Why Gideon of all people? Why save me? Interesting. Stone Rain, Sorcery 3, Destroy Target Land. Does anyone know what happened with Gideon? Leave a note in the chat or comments. Oh, we have a new Jackalope fan. Welcome, Toby Loft, channel member. Thank you very much, sir. And you will get a nifty little Jackalope icon next to your name in the chat and comments. And I see it's popped up your name there, has become a sponsor. Fantastic. First time I've seen that. Okay, where are we? Fortifying Drought. Karok Wrangler. Okay. And Culling Ritual again. Bit of repetition. Okay, we've seen this stuff. Third of the shocks. Accomplished Alchemist 2 5 for 4. Tap add one mana of any color. Tap add X mana of any one color where X is mana of life you gain this turn. And I should say as well, the channel members, uh, future videos, you get your name in the credits at the end of the video. Gift of a State. Sorcery for 2 if an opponent controls more lands. New search library for up to 3 planes. Card villain put into your hand and shuffle. Some more incredible artwork there. And we still have not got the Notorious artwork. You know what I mean. Crushing Disappointment, Strixhaven Stadium. Ephemerate Instant for a single white XL target creature control and return it to battlefield when its owner's control has rebound. What is rebound? I'm not familiar with that mechanic. Okay, and what is this? Hall Monitor, Lizard Shaman. Barog Bafudla, Frog Wizard. No way. And another mythic. Blot out the sky sorcery for X, white, and black. Create X, tap two on white and black inkling creature tokens with flying. If X is six or more, destroy all non creature, non land permanents. What is your favorite? Uh, what do they call them? The favorite class or college? Leave it in the comments. And we have another Jackalope fan. Welcome, you mad bra 99 Thank you very much, sir. Much appreciated. We've also got Luis Lopez in the chat. And woo check. Quintorius Field Historian Elephant Cleric. What else we got? Eliminate. Start from scratch. 
And a mythic body of research. And this is that insane one. Put X plus one plus one counters on it where X is the number of cards in your library. Uh, thanks, Jack Frager. Rebound. So, in answer to my earlier question, means if you cast it from your hand as it resolves, exile it. Then at your next upkeep, cast it for free. Good deal. Okay, we've got a revitalize Trins scroll shaman creative outburst basic conjuration sorcery less than three look at the top six cards of your library you may reveal a creature card from among them put it into your hand put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order you gain three life i think there was something one of these cards uh you have lessons in your sideboard and you can cast those lessons from there i don't think we've come across that one yet Okay, so we've got the trudge, the fungus beast, we've got the croc. Very disappointed there's no goblins, I must say. Spell, satchel. And I believe we've seen that one before. Moving on. Uh, let's see, fractal summoning. There's going to be a lot of fractals floating around. Spiteful squad. What do they call those in Harry Potter? I forget the name of them. The, the uh, class that was always up to mischief. And regrowth sorcery for two. Return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Yep, you can tell I'm a real Harry Potter fan, can't you? Holy cow, Toby Loft Super Chat. Ten pounds. Thank you very much. Love the little... Uh, Dancing number one fan emoji there. That is awesome. Thank you very much, sir. Okay, we have Plum the Forbidden Ingenious Mastery. Day of Judgment. Hey, I didn't even get to read it. I clicked too fast. Ah, uh, okay, moving on. Well, it was a mythic. Double major instant for two copy target creature spell you control except it isn't legendary if this spell is legendary. Okay, I think we've seen everything else here. Yes, Dolph Grimm, it's pretty grim. No goblins. No goblins. Where are they? We've got uh, orcs, I think, but no goblins. Ephemerate. I think we might have seen that one before. Okay, see them all. A Freet Flame Painter. I think that's a new one. Solve the equation. Chaos War. Instant for three. Owner of target permanent shuffles it into their library. Then reveals the top card of the library. If it's a permanent card, they put it onto the battlefield. Liking the number of mythics. Okay, so we've done over 50 packs at this point. Third of the way through. We're speeding up a little now. Mascot Exhibition. Okay, that was the one where you get to create a ton of stuff. Awesome. Okay, introduction to annihilation. That's a little bit grim. Multiple choice. Okay, so we've seen that as well. Another couple of wild cards. I've got about a million of these, so... Shale, Dean of Radiance, Legendary Creature, Bird, Cleric, for 1-1 one, one for 2, Flying Vigilance, tap, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each creature, then to Battlefield under your control this turn. And on the other side we have Embrose, Dean of Shadow, Legendary Creature, Human Warlock, 4-4 four, for four, 4, tap, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on another target creature, then Embrose, Dean of Shadow, deals 2 damage for that creature. Whenever a creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it dies, draw a card, good deal. Okay, so they've got the Deans there with the double face cards as well. Letter of Acceptance. Snow Day. I don't think we've seen that one. Another Shock. I think I've got a place set of those now. Another Mythic Wild card. Welcome, Louise Supan. Uh, let's see here. That's all stuff we've seen. Another Professor Onyx. Yes, we know who you are. Wink, wink. Moving on. So, two of those. Brandon McLeod says, Just got the Shadrix Silver Quill from a boost pack using the promo code. Nice. 
Yes, Witch Tick TV, we have found that out, haven't we? No goblins. I'm a little annoyed. Claim the firstborn. Another mythic wild card. Always welcome. Pest summoning. <laughs> you know I'm going to have to make a deck with uh, pests, aren't you? Or multiple decks. Tendrils of Agony. Sorcery for four target players. Two life. You gain two life. Has Storm. I think we've seen that as well. Okay. Some lands. Nothing crazy. Semester's end. Seen it already. Uh, heated debate. I don't remember that one. Dueling coach. Sudden breakthrough. Eureka moment. Law hold excavation. Eliminate. And that is awesome just for the sound effect. Okay, so I believe we've seen these. Maybe not that one. Can't quite remember. Ooh, this is interesting. Callous Blood Mage. 2 1 for 3. Creature Vampire Warlock. When it enters the battlefield, choose one. Create a 1 1 black and green pest creature token with. When this creature dies, you gain more life. You draw a card and you lose one life. Exile target player's graveyard. And these little pests make their appearance again. This, I think, is the closest to a goblin, which maybe that's why they've done it on this card, right? No goblins in Strixhaven. I'm thinking I'm getting the picture now. Okay, so what is this? Witherbloom command sorcery for two. Choose two. Target player mills three cards. You return a land card from your graveyard to your hand. So a target non-creature, non-land permanent with mana cost two or less. Target creature gets minus three, minus one until end of turn. Target opponent loses two life, you gain two life. That's pretty cool, actually. Only two mana. Very cool. Okay. What else? Stone Rise Spirit. Curate. Shine Shadow Snarl. That's a bit of a tongue twister. One of those jewel lands. Dolphgrim, but at least there's no trolls. Well, I think we found at least one troll here. Or at least there was a troll in the picture. How about that? Let's see if we can find it again. I can't remember the name. Basic Conjuration for three. Sorcery lesson. Look at the top six cards of your library. You remove a creature card from among them. Put it into your hand. Rest on bottom of your library in random order. You gain three life. Okay. But there are ogres. Yes. We have seen many an ogre. Golden ratio. Maybe I'll just have to pretend they're goblins. We've got negate. I say no to you. How many control players do we have in the chat? I have to decide if I start yelling at you or not. Or if there's too many of you, I will applaud you, of course. Memory lapse. Instant for two counter targets worth that spells counter this way. Put it on top of its own library instead of into that player's graveyard. All right, lots of cool tools for uh, historic. Claim the firstborn. I think we pretty much got a place set at this point. Okay, nothing new. Tezzeret's Gambit. I like the little Tezzeret there on that one. That's fun. Stylized artwork. Grape shot. What are people thinking in the real booster packs? You get one of those mystical archives in each pack with a blade historian two three four creature human cleric attacking creature control of double strike so i think putting them in each pack you're going to devalue them quite a bit but i'm assuming you know you do have the different rarities so a mythic is still a mythic so potentially you could get multiple mythics in a even a draft pack which would be cool what is this? Creature Demon 11-10 for 4. Whenever it attacks a block, sacrifice a creature. Welcome, Jonathan Gaither. 
Dolphgram, say no to blue. Who will join me? Do we have any mono red aggro players in the chat? And I have to give you guys and girls a round of applause. That is the true color of magic. Nice sound effect, but what is it? Torrent Sculptor 2-2 two, two for 4. Creature Murphy Wizard Ward 2. Uh, ward. What is Ward? Whenever a permanent with Ward becomes a target of spell, ability an opponent controls counter it unless that player pays Ward cost. Okay, so they can counter it. Um, when it enters the battlefield, it's on instant or sorcery card from your graveyard. Put a number of plus one plus one counters on Torrent Sculptor equal to half that card's mana value rounded up. Flame Thrower Sonata Sorcery for two. Discard a card, then draw a card. When you discard an instant or sorcery card this way, Flame Thrower Sonata deals damage to that card's mana value. To target creature or planes or can you don't control? Nice. And Lewis Sapan says, thanks, it's the other way around. Are you referring to the clapping for red and booing for blue? I think that's what it what you mean there. Toby Loft again. A round of applause. Yay! Two pounds there. Kind regards from the UK. Thank you. The UK is obviously a very generous continent this evening. Uh, we also, I, I shall not neglect, I think we had a couple of people from the US as well. New channel members, so welcome. Relic Sloth. Okay, I don't think we've seen that guy before. Infused with Vitality. We've seen that crazy bear, tempted by the Oric. Down to 75 packs. We are halfway through, people. And at this point, everyone is bored to tears, aren't you? Maybe I should start telling jokes. Or maybe not. You would not want to hear them. Stone rain. That would... Then the num I see the numbers uh, drop precipitously. Sorcery for three. Destroy target land. Straightforward. Here watching in the US, we have anyone from Australia... Or, let's see, India, Africa, Europe, I'm pretty sure we've got a bunch of Europeans here. Anyone from Japan or other continents, let me know. Let's try to get the whole world here. We've got an elite spellbinder, 3-1 for 3, and that is, what's his name? Um, I forget the name of the player, I'm, yeah. I should not forget his name. He's got some cool name. Um, yeah, famous magic player. Why don't I remember? Creature, human cleric, 3-1 for 3. Flying, when it enters the battlefield, look at target opponent's hand you may exile a non-land card from it. As long as that card remains exiled, its owner may play it. A spell cast this way costs two more to cast. Tell a joke, please. Okay, have you really? Do you really? Who wants me to tell a joke? You're gonna groan when you hear my jokes. I think we've pulled all of these. Ooh, I don't think we've pulled this one. Galazeth Prismari 3 4 for 4. When it enters the battlefield, create a treasure token. Maybe we have. Artifacts you control have tap. Okay, nice. So, artifact decks. Oh, is it uh, Paolo Della Rosa or something like that? We need a joke. Do it. Tell a joke, please. I think we need a few more. We need maybe like, four, maybe when we get to 40 people, I'll tell a joke. Seems like people were just leaving. They're like, he didn't tell a joke, so I'm leaving. Or maybe he was going to tell a joke, so I'm leaving. Yeah, Paolo, I think that's the, the guy's name. So we've got the Torrent Sculptor. Uh, maybe if we get a few more thumbs up. I have no idea how many thumbs up we have. One. That's all. That's all I see. One thumbs up. Maybe it needs to... Uh, Increase a little. Um, yeah, okay, so I pulled Galazeth already in the third pack. Please, you have good jokes. Plant dog, yes! That is a joke. So is my eye twitch. You weren't paying attention. Okay, moving on. Why did the chicken cross the road? 
Ooh, increasing vengeance instant for two. Uh, yeah, I think we pulled that one already. It says 21 thumbs up. Okay, not not quite the the amount we need. There's at least 31 people here. Now it's 24. We're getting close. How about when we get to 30? Oh, I'll uh, finish the joke. Hall of Oracles. Tezzeret's Gambit. So 24 thumbs up. Can we increase the tally? Yeah, I'm still not seeing it refreshing here. 30 thumbs up. Do others see 30 thumbs up? Can you even remember the joke? And it was not Teferi's Protection. This is a damn good card. Instant for three until your next turn. Your life total can't change. And you gain protection from everything. What? All permanents you control phase out. Exile Teferi's Protection. I can't believe they've put this in Historic. Are they crazy? Holy moly. 31, 32. Okay, so the chicken crossed the road. Because it was stapled to the crocodile. Okay, there you go. Cody Vociferous Codex. One, four, for three. We have not pulled this one yet. Legendary Artifact Creature Construct. You can't cast permanent spells for, f what is that? For four, tap, add every color of the magic rainbow. When you cast your next spell this turn, exhale cards from top of your library. To you exile an instant or source your card with lesser mana value until end of turn. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Put each other card it so this way on the bottom of your library in a random order. So yeah, that's one where you probably need something to make your uh, maybe make your artifacts uh, any color. I forget what that one was. Merely the pawn. I have a joke. I'd give it to you, but I don't think you'd get it. That's us 24. Tell a joke. Tell a joke, Steve Party says. Lotto 84, tell a joke. The chicken, yes. Don't worry, it was stapled through the feathers. I'm sure he's fine. Valentin, Dean of the Vein. Hello, I don't think we've come across you before. 1-1 one, one for a single black menace lifelink. If a non-token creature and opponent controls will die, exile it instead. When you do, you may pay two. If you do, create a 1-1 one, one black and green pest creature token with. When this creature dies, you gain one life. On the other side, we have Lizette. Oh, I see what they're doing here. So you've got one Dean on each side, different color combo. On the other side, we've got Lizette, Dean of the Root, legendary creature, human druid, 4-4 four, four, for 4. Whenever you gain life, you may pay one. If you do, put a plus 1, plus 1 counter on each creature you control. And those creatures gain trample until end of turn. Okay. Seems legit. Have you pulled Lightning Bolt yet? I don't think we have. Happy Crocodile. That's a good chicken, says Brian Lewis. I don't know. Ask the Crocodile. You, could you imagine the Crocodile? The chicken is stapled to his back. I can picture him, him like running around in circles trying to get the chicken so i'm i don't think i think that joke is gonna fall flat or maybe it's gonna roll over i don't know whoa crackle with power source three three x's two reds deals five times x damage what to each of up to x targets okay that's not as impressive as i was thinking Okay, so let's see here. Got another croc. Don't see any chickens there, so he's all good. We have the Nald Professor, creature tree folk druid, 5 4 for 4, trample when it enters the battlefield. Learn. I think it's the, uh, the learn mechanic where you get to pull them from the uh, sideboard. Excavated wall. Stadium, okay. Snacks on the go, yes, that's a thing. And I will say, I don't know which I would prefer, the crocodile or the chicken. If you've ever tasted crocodile, it tastes a bit like chicken. 
little bit of a seafood edge there, but you know, pretty similar. Dolphgrim says, excited to see some of the Japanese alt art out of the collect box. Me too. Ah, here we go. Double sided card. Rowan Scholar of Sparks. So this is the second Planeswalker pull. We've already pulled the Liliana twice. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Professor Onyx. To you, students. Legendary Planeswalker Rowan. Two loyalty for Three instant sorcery spells you cast cost one less cast plus one deals one damage to each opponent if you've drawn three or more cards this turn she deals three damage to each opponent instead I'm liking that minus four you get an emblem with whenever you cast an instant sorcery spell you may pay two if you do copy that spell you may choose new targets for the copy very cool and on the other side we have will scholar of frost legendary plans or will for loyalty for five Costs a bit more mana. Okay, what do you get for your money? Instant associate suppose you cast. Cost one less to cast. Plus one. Up to one target creature's base power and toughness zero, two, and two end of turn. Minus three. Draw two cards. Minus seven. Exile up to five target permanents. For each permanent exile this way, its controller creates a four, four blue and red elemental creature. Token. Okay, I was going to say that's pretty powerful, and then you read the second sentence. That's the downside. Always a downside, isn't there? Okay, Soothsayer Adept. I don't think we've seen that one. Cram Session Emergent Sequence. Secret Rendezvous. Necro Blossom Snarl. Okay. And I'm going to just keep referring to that as a Golgari land, aren't I? It's going to take some getting used to these new uh, color, color combo names. There he is. Uh, Paolo... Victor Paolo. We're still trying to guess that guy's name. Does anyone actually know it? Leave a note in the chat or comments. Academic probation sorcery lesson for two. Choose one. Choose an online card name. Opponents can't cast spells with chosen name until your next turn. Choose target non-land permanent until your next turn. It can't attack or block and its activated abilities can't be activated. Okay then. Lock up your opponent's cards there. Uh, let's see. Resculpt. Scurried colony. What? No. Nobody told me about the squirrels. Creature squirrel. 2-2 two, two for 2 with reach. It gets plus 2 plus 2 as long as it. you control 8 or more lands. Toski. You have a friend. All we need now is um, something with uh, your deck has unlimited squirrels. How about that? Ooh, Shadrick Silver Quill. I don't think we've seen that one. Flying a double strike, two, five for five. Have we pulled every Elder Dragon so far? I think either all five or at least four of the five. Beginning of combat on your turn, you may choose to each mode. Must target a different player. Target player creates... A 2 one white and black inkling creature token with flying. Target player draws a card and loses one life. Target player puts a plus one plus one counter on each creature they control. That's probably more of a thing in Commander. Names on the flavor text of the card. Polo Vitor Damu De Rosa. Yes, we have a winner. Thank you, Thomas BC. Much appreciated. It's been bothering us most of the stream. So we're uh, on the home stretch here. We have about 50 cards to go. To Fairy's Protection. Insane card. We saw that as well. Looks like Brandon's pulling uh, cards at the same time here. Got a Shadrix as well. Must be the Arena Shuffler, right? Now tell me, tell me if you get Regrowth. That's going to be interesting. Sorcery for two return target card from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, we've seen those. And, yep, we're getting more squirrels now. What? A mythic. Hofri Ghostforge 4-5 for 5 for five legendary creature. Dwarf Cleric Spirits. You control, get plus one, have 
Trample and haste from another non-token creature controlled by his exile. If you do create a token, it's copy of that creature, except it's a spirit in addition to its other types. Has when this creature leaves the battlefield, return the exiled card to your graveyard. Bit of extra value on that one. Biblioplex Assistant. Don't think we've seen that one either. Show of Confidence. Big play. Okay. Lawhold Command. I think we've seen that. So we're down to 50 packs here. And everyone has left because I told a joke or I have not told enough jokes. Ooh, that is awesome. We've got a couple of those now. Okay, Fractal Summoning, Symmetry, Sage, Biblioplex. Okay, Accomplished Alchemist. I believe we've seen all of these. So are there any cards that you think... Urza's Rage, I think we pulled that. Any cards you think we should have pulled by now that we have not yet pulled? God's Willing, instant for a single white tag pitch control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. Scry one. Oh, I know the one we should pull. I know the one. The notorious artwork. Oh, Mana Tithe. There we go. Instant for a white counter target spell unless it's control up pays one. Which college is your favorite? I think it's. Um, I'm always going to refer to him as Orzov. What is it? Silver Quill? It's not Sliver Quill, is it? Silver Quill? Devastating Mastery. So, Sorcery, four, what is that? Six, you may pay two and two white rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Oh, there's the downside. If the two and two white cost is paid, an opponent chooses up two non-land permanents. They control, return them to his hand. Destroy all non-land permanents. All right. Uh, make your mark. Professor of Symbology. Venerable War Singer. We have seen you before. Anything from the Mystic Archive we have not pulled. Strict Proctor. I don't remember this one. Creature Spirit Cleric 1, 3 for 2. Flying whenever a permanent entering a battlefield. Cause they trigger the ability to trigger a counter that ability unless it's controlled up pays 2. Holy moly, are we at an hour already? I'm just having too much fun here. Hall of Oracles. Don't think we've seen that one yet. Abundant Harvest. Sorcery for a single green. Choose land or non-land. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put it into your hand. Rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Let's see here. Uh, Wither Bloom, I think, is probably my second favorite. Noticing the common color there. And the cauldron, have we seen that? I don't think so. Tap, discard a card, create a one, one black and green pest creature token with when this creature dies, you gain a life for one tap. Each opponent mills cards equal to the amount of life you gain this turn. Nice. For four tap, exile four target cards from a single graveyard, draw a card. Sorcery, restorative burst for five. Return up to two target creature land and or plans or cards from your graveyard to your hand. Each player gains four life. Exile restorative burst. I was reading that first part and saying, oh, that sounds good. Then the each player gains four life. Not so good again. Uh, Dolph Grimm says, I uh, think White has some actual nice pulls in his set. That's where you'll find it. Vine Glimmer Snarl. Introduction to Prophecy. Uh, here we go. Somebody asked earlier, do we have trolls? We do. We have the Honor Troll. 
with vigilance two three for three you if you would gain life you gain that much life plus one instead honor troll gets plus two plus one as long as you have 25 or more life a very distinguished troll indeed abundant harvest we've seen that so what are the planeswalkers have we pulled all of the planeswalkers surely there must be more i think we've got a play set of shock at this point uh let's see tangle trap tenured ink caster i don't remember that one vampire warlock and plague dean of chaos and on the other side augusta dean of order so plague let's see here two two for two probably highlighted him already but he deserves a bit more tap discard a card draw a card for four red real cards from top of your library and two you reveal a non-legendary non-land card with mana value three unless you make cards cover that paying it's mana cost but all reveal cards not cast this way on the bottom of your library in a random order augusta other tapped creatures you control get plus one plus zero and other untapped creatures you control get zero plus zero plus one whenever you attack untap each creature you control then tap any number of creatures you control a lot of tapping and untapping going on there so how much do 150 cost i think that's the answer right there so i had the there was a pre-order thing for like going for 50 then you pay like another 99.99 to get another 100 packs so not cheap but i do um these days i've been trying to do more deck building crux of fate with some plagiarized artwork an awful shame about that sorcery for five choose one destroy all dragon creatures or destroy all non-dragon creatures very controversial card there and that's not the one I was referring to earlier. Uh, let's see here. Defend the campus. Don't remember that one. Umbral Duke. Don't remember that one. Has inklings. Okay. Yes. We must refer to it as that art. Pitch me with the, um, the finger quotes. That art manifestation sage that one is pretty cool we've got the fractals there uh, mascot interception okay i don't remember this one either kian dean of substance two two for three legendary creature elf druid tap x for the top card of your library if it's a land card put it into your hand otherwise put a study counter on it for four and a green, create a zero zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put a plus one plus one counter on it for each different mana value among non-land cards you own in exile with study counters on it. That one hurts my brain, so I probably wouldn't uh, play that. I'd have to think about it too much. You know, mono red players thinking those things don't go together. Im Imbraham, Dean of Theory, 3-3 three, three for 4, Bird Wizard, Flying X and 2, Blue Tap, X of the top X cards of your library and put a study counter on each of them. Then you may put a card you own in exile with a study counter on it into your hand. Okay, that one's a little more understandable. Okay, 30 packs left. Yes, which one am I referring to when I say that card? You shall see which one. Maybe we've already seen it. Okay, that's true. That art or that card. Has anyone pulled a foil demonic tutor? Yes, that would be nice indeed. So this is a new one. Selfless Glyph Weaver. Creature human cleric 233. Exile at creature you control gain indestructible until end of turn. Seems pretty cool. Sorcery for what? Deadly vanity. Sorcery for eight. Choose a creature or planeswalker, then destroy all other creatures and planeswalkers. Okay, and this is in the color combo I like. 
Zachary Mazeppa says, love the art on these cards. Todd Packer, I'm watching you open packs so I don't spend a lot of money. Yes, that's what I'm here for, right? I open the pack so you don't have to. Any trolls yet? Jonathan, you mean the trolls in the chat or the trolls in the game? We have seen some trolls in the game. Mind's Desire, nice artwork. Sorcery for six. Shuffle your library, the next or the top card of your library until end of turn. You may play that card without paying its mana cost. This one has Storm. Any Storm players out there? And Mike, there are no goblins in Strixhaven. Only trolls and ogres. And I think I saw some orcs in there somewhere. Trolls in the game. Yes, there are. Uh, well, we've seen one. I'm not sure. Are there any more than one troll? Pardon me, just uh, just have not eaten in a while. My stomach's rumbling. Uh, let's see, tend the pests. That's fun. That guy looks a little bit like um, oh, I can't remember his name. The, the real sadistic guy in Game of Thrones. Um, what is that, Ramsey? Something. Not Ramsey Campbell, what's his name? Uh, he ba basically, uh, the whole thing with Reek. If you've watched the show, you know what I mean. Stone Rain, okay, we've pulled that before. Are there drakes or dragons? There are indeed, Carter. There are tons of dragons. So we've got the Elder Dragons, one for each of the classes or colleges, as they may call them. Trick Proctor. We have not found that art yet, or that card. It's not D Spark. Tanazia Quandrix. So if you're asking about dragons, here you go. There's five of these. What happens when you open ten at once? I've never had that many. Well, we shall see. We'll, ju we'll do one. Uh, once we get down to 20, we'll open ten at once. Really not that exciting to be honest. Ogya Battle Seer. So here's our Ogre. Avilda Dean of Perfection. That's new. What is that? A Jin Wizard Afrit Shaman on the other side. Sign in blood. Sorcery for two target player draws two cards and loses two life. Ramsey Bolton, yes, that was the name. Multiple or just Max has said it there. Ramsey Bolton, that was the one. That card I saw earlier. Todd, yes. We're looking for faithless looting here. Big money, big money, no whammies. What do we have? Wild card, okay. I'm going to open 10. Let's have some blow your mind emojis in the chat. Will this blow your mind? If you can find that emoji, it will blow your mind. Here we go. That's it. <laughs> Not that exciting. So basically it shows you all the rares. So we've got a Fervent Mastery. So some card draw. Uh, searching, put them into your hand, shuffle, discard three. Okay, we've seen an Elder Dragon. Awesome. Urza's Rage, Nasari, Dean of Expression, Legendary Creature, Efreet, Shaman for five at the beginning of your upkeep, exile the top card of each opponent's library until end of turn. You may cast spells from among those exile cards. You may spend mana as well. One mana of any color to cast those spells. Whenever you cast a spell from exile, put a plus one plus one counter on Nasari, Dean of Expression. On the other side, we have Avilda, Dean of Perfection, two two for three, Jin Wizard. Legendary, no less. Tap, you may exile an instant or sorcery card from your hand and put three Hoon Counters on it. It gains at the beginning of your upkeep. This creature, uh, if this card is exiled, remove a Hoon Counter from it. And when the last Hoon Counter is removed from this card, if it's exiled, you may cast it. It costs four less to cast this way. Okay, then. Culmination of Studies. Yes, we have opened the Bear Druid a couple of times. 
Let's go. Yes. One. Only one. What? One mind was blown. You madman was another one. Brandon Case has not played Arena, just paper. Crazy amount of Mythic Rares in the one box I bought so far. Yeah, can't wait to get into it. Was that a set booster box? I think they're doing the set boosters on the opening weekend. Jonathan, how do the double-sided cards work? Can you cast a spell on any side you like? Exactly. So you draw the card, and at the time you're casting, so it's most beneficial, or I guess it depends, really. There's some with lands on one side, so you can either cast the land if you need the mana or cast the spell on the other side, uh, depending on how you're doing with the arena shuffler, I guess. Historic player's bank account after Strixhaven. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Culmination of studies X, blue and red. Sorcery X, are top X cards your library for each land. Card X, so this way. Create a treasure token for each blue card X, so this way. Draw a card for each red card X, so this way. Combination of studies rules. One damage to each opponent. Lot of value there. Manifestation Sage, so putting plus one plus one counters on fractals, weather the storm, callous blood mage and his little pest there. Okay. Ten more packs to crack. And some of you, some of you I will say are crazy. You've been watching for over an hour. What are you doing? Don't you have better things to do with your time? That's my closing statement. Ooh, Mythic. We have not seen this one. Ecological Appreciation X and 2. And a green Sorcery Search Library and Graveyard for up to 4 creature cards with different names. that each have mana value X or less. Reveal them. Opponent chooses 2 of them. Shuffle the chosen cards into your library. Put the rest onto the battlefield. Ooh, nice. Exile Ecological Appreciation. Interesting. Okay, Frost Trickster, and for those latecomers here, Scurred Colony. Your eyes are not deceiving you. This is real life. This is a squirrel. And I can hear people thinking, ooh, what can we do here? Tosky, Scurred Col Colony. So you've got eight. You need some shapeshifters. Turn all your creatures into squirrels. Squirrel tribal. I think it can happen. I think we have to do it in this standard. I'm just a little disappointed. That's the only other squirrel I've seen so far. How many wild cards have you pulled from this? My guess is a metric buttload, which is not enough. Because when you, so when I make my decks, I have something in mind and I'm just, you know, populating the deck, pulling things in and out. I usually look at Scryfall when I'm searching for stuff I need. And then it's when you craft all the wild cards, that's when it hits you. It says not enough wild cards to uh, create this deck. And that's when you wish you'd pulled more. So you, it is never enough. <laughs> Mavinda Students Advocate, I think we saw that one as where I like the uh, little speech it gives. Okay, Leyline Invocation. Where X is number of lands you control, that's pretty crazy. I don't remember that one. Auric Law Mage, 3-3 three, three for 4, Creature Human Warlock, tap, search your library for a card, put it into your graveyard, then shuffle... If it's an instant or sorcery card, put a plus one plus one counter on Auric Law Mage. And if you're just tuning in, use the code play Strixhaven. You will get three packs of goodness. Hopefully goodness. No guarantees. Illuminate History. I think we've seen that one. Five more packs. We are missing the art or the card. So we can't get out of this one. Confront the past. I want to know what's going on here. 
I've got a feeling this bloke will be resurrected in the next set. Maybe in the D&D &D set we'll see Gideon come back. What do you think? I think that's a distinct possibility. Got another croc there. We've got some more fungus. Okay, is it really? We're going to go out with a whimper here. The last three packs. We're just going to pull trash. I've not seen dramatic finale. That's what we need. Bookworm. Doomblade. Instant for two. Destroy target non-black creature. That is not the art or the card. Young Uzi Thug. It, the code is play Strixhaven. Yep, you got it, Todd. <laughs> Todd says I got a war slinger from my three packs. It was lit. I don't know if I'd be that excited. I'd be looking for a little bit more juicy goodness than that, I think. Ooh, wandering archaic. This. Tell me what that looks like. Um... This is like a prediction. I think something is coming. You know what it is. You can probably tell me in the chat or comments. Creature avatar. I'm doing the quote thing again. Avatar for five. Whenever an opponent casts an instant or sorcery spell, they may pay two if they don't. You may copy that spell. Nice. You may choose new targets for the copy and explore the vast lands. Sorcery for three. Each player looks at the top five cards of the library and may reveal a land card and or an instant or sorcery card from among them. Each player puts cards they revealed this way into their hand and the rest on the bottom of their library in a random order. Each player gains three life. Yes, we have some good guess or a good guess. Eldrazi, yes. Uh, Lewis, yes, we've pu pulled a couple of Teferi's protection actually. I think we've got two of them so we have one more pack here we are looking for the art or the card we're looking for faithless looting final pack magic that's not what we were looking for okay this better be a huge finish and i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification spell. Notification spell. Notice we're in Strixhaven. It's not a no notification bell. It is now a notification spell. To be notified as soon as new videos are released. Okay. Let's have some mind blown. Some mind blown emojis. I would like to see some for a big finish. Because if we don't get enough mind-blown emojis, I think I can blame it on the chat. I'll just say, look, the chat, they did not have the energy. Maybe, maybe because they've been watching for an hour and 20 minutes. Holy moly. You people are crazy. I know some of you have been here since right near the beginning. Louise says it would be cool if it was Silver Quill. Okay, we have a... That is an emoji. That looks like a dabbing emoji. We've got a dabbing. Yes, Jonathan Burnham saves the team. We have seven, 14 mind blown emojis. Oh, that is a spicy meatball. It is Kazmina Enigma Sage. So, this one actually, when you. Um, I think I got this. There's like a little bonus when you buy the uh, bundle. You get the, the, the bundle of uh, 50 packs. You get a, a bonus card. I think I got this Kazmina. So Enigma Sage. Legendary Planeswalker Kazmina. Two loyalty for three. Each other Planeswalker you control has the loyalty abilities of Kazmina. Enigma Sage. Plus two. Scry one. Minus X. Create a zero zero green and blue fractal creature token. Put X plus one plus one counters on it. Minus eight. Search your library for an instant or sorcery card that shares a color with this planeswalker. X of that card. Then shuffle. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. Good deal. Okay, so yes, I I will say this is a nice end. I think Jonathan Burnham, you saved the team here with the mind blown emojis. Dolph Grimm. 
Jeremiah Becker, lots of dabbing going on. Nathan Cubbon, this is the first pack I'll be seeing, so plenty more to see. Go back to the beginning, and I shall warn you, regulars know this, but if you watch too many videos on this channel, you rot your mind and discard two cards, but it's all good. You just go right back to the beginning. So at this point, we've done over 2,000 videos. You go back to the beginning of those. Uh, video number one, if you're watching video number one. So if you made it this far, I'm curious. Leave a comment on my very uh, first video on the channel. So sort by most recent. And just say, greetings from Strixhaven. And we'll see how many people are crazy enough to have watched this far in a video. And I'm pretty sure that will show that you have mind rot. And once you've realized that, uh, and if you go back later, you go back to the, the first video, you see all these comments, you'll know exactly how many people we have rotted their minds. They've watched this for an hour and 23 minutes at this point. Their mind is totally rotted. No Dolph Grimm. Their mind is not blown. Their mind is rotted. And if you're just joining now, we've got 39 people here. You're wondering what's going on. He's giving a speech. Yes, I am. Go back to the first video I ever made. I, I think that would blow my mind, actually, if I knew. And say, greetings from Strixhaven. And then we'll see how many people have mind rot. And merely the pawn, if your mind is already rotted, this is what I'm saying. You need to go back to the beginning. You need to watch 2,000, I think, it, was it 2,054 videos or something? Something like that. You watch all of those in order, so you've got to watch them in sequence. So you get, you're going to get all the jokes as you go through. You're going to um, see all the, the cool people. Who, who were watching before it was cool early on. And then as you get to present day, you'll see what happens. So you, there'll be a period of about a year, maybe a year and a half, I think, with the Funko Pop figures. So the, the blessing the packs. Some of you might have been around in that stage. So we blessed the packs. And then at some point, pretty sure that that pack blessing magic just ran out. It just didn't work anymore. We were getting hosed with the pools. We said enough. That's it. So we get rid of the Funko Pops. And guess what? The crazy pools came back and they never stopped ever since. So thank you all for watching. I hope everyone is staying safe and healthy out there. And have a great day. Don't forget, go back to the first video. Greetings from Strixhaven. And we'll see how many people have a bad case of mind rot. Enjoy. Thank you once again. It's been a fantastic stream. But alas, I'm getting a little hungry. It's time to go. Thank you all once again. Enjoy.